Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a composite figure. And remember, perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional figure. And two-dimensional means flat. So we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one here, where we have a figure with a bunch of different sides there. So when it comes to composite figures, it's a little more complex than just finding the perimeter of a simpler figure like a rectangle or triangle where we just have four or three sides. Here we need to be very organized and keep track of the sides that we're adding up in order to calculate perimeter. And remember, in order to calculate perimeter, we add up all the sides. So I have a hint up top. These are the most common mistakes when it comes to these types of problems. Don't forget any of the sides and don't count anything twice. I'll show you a couple of strategies in order to avoid those mistakes. So let's start with the eight feet up top. And I'll come down here and write eight plus. Now in order to make sure I don't forget anything or count anything twice, I can circle or cross off the side lengths as I go around. So I'm gonna cross off this eight feet. Next, I have seven feet, so I'll cross it off as I count it, plus four feet, plus another four feet, plus another four feet, plus three feet. And we can always double check that we included everything or that we didn't count anything twice by double checking how many sides there were. So one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six measurements down there that we are adding up, so we're good to go. Let's add eight plus seven is 15, plus four is 19, plus another four is 23, plus another four is 27, plus three gives us 30, and this is feet. So down below, I'll put our final answer, perimeter, equals 30 feet. We can circle our final answer there. And let's move to number two. Now this figure has more sides than number one, so again, we are going to have to be careful and organized as we go through our figure and the side measurements. So we'll start up top with the four meters here. And before I start, it doesn't matter which side or measurement you start with. I usually just like to start up top um, but really it doesn't matter. So the other strategy, if you don't like crossing out off, you can circle the numbers as you go along. Same, same idea here. So four plus five plus four plus five plus one plus 10. I'm running out of room, so I'm going to go to the next line here. Plus 9, plus 10. And let's double check everything. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sides, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 measurements. Let's add them up. So we have 4 plus 5 is 9 plus four is 13, plus five is 18, plus one is 19, plus 10 is 29, plus nine is 38, plus another 10 is 48. So our perimeter is 48 meters. And let's write our final answer, uh, looking for some room. We will go in the middle of the shape here. Perimeter equals 48 meters. So there you have it. There's how you find the perimeter of a composite figure. Just make sure you don't forget anything or count anything twice. So stay nice and organized and then add all of your sides up and you'll be good to go. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.